Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over how to calculate the uh, mechanical advantage of a wheel and axle. And uh, we'll do two types of problems, one where you calculate mechanical advantage and another one in which we will calculate the size of the wheel. So let's get started. What is the mechanical advantage of a wheel and axle of a wheel radius of 25 and has an axle radius of 5? Well, the formula you use is wheel radius divided by axle radius. And here's what I'm talking about. Here would be a wheel and axle. The gray is the wheel. The dark is the axle. So the radius of the wheel is from the center out, and it says it's 25 inches. And from the dark section is the axle, like right here, and it is 5 inches. So we're just going to plug this into the formula. We have 25 inches divided by 5 inches. Remember that units will cancel, and that gives you a mechanical advantage of 5. Let's work another style problem. Okay, this problem says, what size wheel radius do you need if you have an axle with a radius of 6 inches if you want a mechanical advantage of 3? So again, uh, let's go ahead and plug it into the formula. Let's see what we have. We have a wheel radius. That's what we're trying to find. That would be x. The axle radius is six inches, okay? And it has a mechanical advantage of three, okay? So I'm just going to place three over one. I'm gonna cross multiply, x equals 18 inches. Actually, that'd be one x. So we know that if you want a mechanical, if you have want a mechanical advantage of three, the wheel radius needs to be 18 inches. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.